Here we go. We're going to get under here and get some plumbing done. Let's get to it. First thing you need, puppy pads. Puppy pads are the key to the safety of the bottom of the cabinet. As soon as you lay down that layer of protection, make sure you get the water shut off because <laughs> it's going to make a hell of a mess. But we're going to depressurize the system and we're going to drain the water that's left in the pipe. So what I'm doing here is sticking the pipe into the shutoff. I got the chrome trim ring. I'm going to mark it. Got the release tool. Got to have the release tool. And that's my measurement that my pipe needs to be extended beyond their succussion. So I got the succussion on there. I'm going to mark my measurement, which is inch and an eighth. Look at that. Solid block. That way, if you're pushing on there with a shark bite, it's not going nowhere. No, sir. Got an inch and an eighth left. Put the chrome trim ring on. Push it on there. That's right. Shark bite ball valve for the win look at that no red showing and we're just going to do and repeat on the blue which is the cold water i don't know if y'all are pex haters or lovers but but i love it look at that water still dripping it don't matter man cut it <laughs> and you can make a joint and it'd be watertight instantly you don't have to wait on glue to dry you don't have to wait on solder nothing look at that Push it on, and you're ready to go, man. Come on. Who doesn't love that? Look at that, how clean that is. I'm going to run back to the manifold, turn the water on. We're going to check for leaks. Don't see none. Got it, coach. Hey, if you're not using puppy pads, you need to start because they work. 